What the heck is this fiasco going on here? Holy cow. I did not expect this in my quiet neighborhood. Uh-oh. Let's get to it. Looks like we got some major road construction going on here. Wow. Don't usually expect a traffic jam in the middle of our quiet little farmyard here. Hmm. You know, back in the day, I used to work some construction. Just dabbled in it, just barely. I wonder, maybe. We could get to drive some big equipment. Might be far-fetched, but maybe. Maybe. I do not think I'm going to get around anytime soon. It looks like uh, that's a major project going on there. And then uh, I'm waiting. Maybe I should check out. Let's check out these trucks. Ooh, you guys probably saw this one. So this is the new High Boy. It's a little bit different. I just love the flag. Man. See, there's the bat the badge right there. High boy 80s triple. This is a uh, black and uh, gray, gunmetal gray. But I've always liked these uh, front bumpers. The grill guard there and the rollover. I don't know. May maybe I'm old school. I always like that on the trucks. Some people don't, but I do. Definitely, I don't know if I like this one more than the the red, the red and white one you saw squad using. Never know. 454 SS. Now I used to love this truck back in the day. This was when I was going through high school. This was my dream truck. Dream truck. 454 SS. I don't know if it really is my dream truck anymore. It would it would be alright, but I mean, who can really probably nowadays with the gas prices you can't afford it, but in the future, you're not going to be able to afford a carbureted. Oh my gosh. Look, it's the new Corvette. This thing is absolutely sick in back. Man, is this thing. They just made it look almost exactly like a Ferrari. Ooh, a plumbing van. Don't usually see them around. Definitely a usual plumbing. Now, we got a mega cab with some serious dualies. I don't think that's legal. What is it, nine feet? Yeah, you, you can't even be in the lines ever. I don't know if that's exactly street legal, but them are some nice dooleys. Definitely got some girth to them, that's for sure. Look at that iron cross front grip or bumper. Man, there's your where you can find this mod in case you're interested. North Point. Jayco Luxury Camper. Man, triple axle. Got a canopy on front. Got a huge storage area right here. Number one selling travel trailer. Yep. Interested in pu purchasing a travel trailer in real life too. Don't know if I'm going to get a toy hot or it just doesn't really fit me as a person. But definitely interested in a Jayco. Got an old, uh, what is this, uh, 24 valve Ram on there. And we start the construction. I don't know when we're exactly going to be allowed through. Hopefully soon. Alright, finally got past all of them. And then trucks over there. They got trucks everywhere. Yep, just uh, enjoying my not-so-quiet 
used to be quiet farmyard. Who's this coming up here? What the heck? Huh. Little construction gator, I guess. Uh oh. Hopefully they're going to uh, say they're going to keep it down for the next uh, two days. Uh, well, apparently, so I used to do a little construction, and apparently a lot of their employees are out sick. They don't know exactly what they have, but they don't think it's good. They are wondering if I could do them a huge favor and help them out today because they're so short-handed. Uh, they look like they updated their equipment. Some of you might have saw an 8RX. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on that. Let's just say uh, yes and yes again. Alright, so looks like I got a few items to do did say at first I need to unload this truck here. Uh, I need to start spreading the, the cones out, I guess. You gotta put the cones somewhere, I guess. Let's see. Looks like we're loaded up here. We gotta get the cones off here. Undo this pallet here. Use the bobcat, I guess. Uh, will I be able to get around there? That's the question. This is not going to be an easy task. Got I don't think it's might not even be possible for me to do this. doing this when it, every time you go forward your forks go up with your loader because we're going uphill. Oops. Oops. Alright, we will get this over. Uh, where do they exactly need these cones at? Don't... I guess we'll start. Can we fit through here? Ooh, this is going to be tight. Got some metal pallets right there. Ooh. We got to weave ourselves through this maze right here. Let's... Alright, I think we'll put some cones over here for the traffic just to be monitored. Wow, wow, wow. That's bumpy there. Let's see if we can get over here. Alright, we'll start laying cones down right about here. Oop, oop. Almost lost that pallet. There we go. Putting a few down right there. we still got to put a few more on this side and probably on the other side. Got to put some down over here because you know, people that sit in uh, traffic, bumper to bumper, they like to just take their four-wheel drive, like their high boy back here, and uh, just go off-road through the ditch, which puts uh, construction people at hazards. Put this down right about there. Alright, then we have these that aren't filled with water probably should be just in case somebody tries to text on their phone and run through construction site. Real thing. It's a bad thing nowadays. Alright. Alright, that's... Put this in place right here. Uh-oh. Probably should have got that on the other side before I did that. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I'm losing it. Rookie mistake here. 
All right, so I'm gonna get this over here and get all this unloaded. Figure out what else they need us to do. Looks like we need to prep this soil here somehow. All right, got a whole bunch of new equipment. I don't even know what to do anymore. All right, now that the cones are out, so now we have to, I think we gotta prep this soil. So I want to plow this soil they want to plow the soil. The only issue is everything's parked on this road, everything's going on. So I'm gonna have to move all these items to the ditch so I can have a clear pass to start plowing, I guess. Hopefully we can start laying some concrete. Laying the pavement. Now this is what I've been looking and eyeing the whole entire time. So this is Sid Modding's brand new 8RX. He did a great job. I know you guys probably already know all, all, all this because you guys are farming fanatics like me. This thing does look a little bit higher like Millennial Farmer. You can really tell in his videos that it does look a little bit higher, especially if you put it by a another regular older style 8R. And uh, it's definitely a little bit higher, but that cab, man, John Deere is definitely stepping up. I don't think the other companies out there can keep up with their advances. It would be nice if we could get a uh, 3D track for it, though. That would be awesome. Uh, I don't know if that's just because it's made for consoles or what the deal is. But this is on the blade here. We'll get this moved off of the way. Look at these controls. See the turn radius on here. Wow. Yeah. Now that's impressive. Alright, we'll back this up. I'm going to turn that off just because it's bothering me. Leave that part there to the side right there. Alright, so now we got our water tank or I don't know if this is a water tank or this is I think this is a water tank they use to wet in the soil so it doesn't get dusty and nasty start this old beast up Kenworth it's got some beast tires on it move this over here we are making our ditch look horrible with all these tracks and everything be alright I think I'm going to move old DOT truck a little farther up here. Move this up the road a little bit here. Whoa. You guys see this? Look at this truck. Man, is that impressive. A W990. Man, is that one heck of a grain hauling machine. Never seen a Wilson four axle trailer. Don't even know if it's real or not. Uh, my guess is two of these axles lift up on turns. Maybe. That's some serious hopper. Talk about being overloaded. That would be pretty easy to overload this old beast. Wow, is that thing huge? Yeah, I know. That's what she said. Look at this clean rig here. Wow. The Dirty Max. You know, I love the Dirty Max. Look at them rims. Fuel force. A bumper. It sounds amazing. Look at that huge muffler off the back. Find it at Ranch Modding, right there. Beautiful old school Dirty Max. I, I shouldn't really call it. It's not really old school nowadays. Still, it's pretty, still a good truck. All right, now we got everything cleared out on the roadway. Finally. All right, now I get to drive what I've been waiting for: the 8RX. Can't wait to drive this beast. Man, these guys are so lucky. Get to drive a brand new 
These things ain't cheap. They are not cheap. You got to be rich. Definitely got to farm a lot of acres to be able to afford one of these things. Try to get this thing straighten off. We'll back up as far as we can. Start unfolding it. laser levels just make this thing almost you could do this as a rookie don't need no experience with all this stuff like it used to be alright back this up a little bit get right along there and we will start Blading this. Wow, look at that stuff go. I don't know where all of that residue is coming from, though. Isn't that a little odd? Definitely getting this thing scraped up just nicely. Definitely going to look different, that's for sure. So basically, they had to put a new pipe in this area. The new pipe definitely forced them to redo the concrete. And I guess the old pipe was kind of made the old concrete weak. And it didn't have enough support, so it started cracking. So they ended up, we have to replace this section of highway here this side and I think we are done and then I want to take the payloader again scrape it one more time get that uh, dirt turned over and broken up a little bit deeper start working this alright that should be good. Pick this thing up, fold it, and I think I'm just gonna drive this back to my farm. You think they'll notice? Yeah, we're just. I'll just head, just head down the road here a little bit. Put this in here, quick, quick, before anybody notices. Shut it down and uh, hide the evidence. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Head down here. Wow, wow, this is bumpy. We are spinning away here, but we're working that dirt, if you can tell, best we can. Breaking that, the clumps up. Ooh, hit something there. I don't know what it is we just hit. Man, it did not like it. Ooh, man, I think we got a rock here. Yeah, that's why we're getting it, get them rocks out. We just drove over it, if you can feel it. That thing is in there. It's probably like a Volkswagen. Might have to get the excavator and dig it on out. Just don't want that messing up this concrete slab here. Alright, got that side done. Now, all I think now I think we're just going to wet this down a little bit so it's nice and workable. Alright, got to put the water tank to work here. Spray some water on this. Big floater tires make this thing just float on top of this bouncy soil. Definitely going to have to do a lot of leveling. Alright, I think that's about it. 
somehow we gotta start hauling some gravel in. Alright, we are hauling a load of gravel over back over here to the road. Got the semi trailer going here. Beautiful. Loaded down. Heading on our way. What the? Oh my goodness. How in the heck did you get here? Easy cat. I don't like cats. You must have been in here. You must be somebody's pet. Who brings their cat to work? That's just weird. Alright, pulling in over here, I hope. Yeah. Here we go. Easy, kitty. Alright, at least he's purring now. She, whatever you are. Go chase some birds, kitty. Do something useful. Alright, I am going to change out of this truck because I do not want to ride with a cat all day. Tr ask one of these guys if I can use their truck. Alright, while that cement is setting this, it's starting to set some concrete so then we can start laying the blacktop and then we should be about done after laying the lines and all that, but it's starting to lay some concrete. Speaking of people want making sure the dust gets down. Uh, yeah, now we're definitely going to have a lot of dust to deal with. Got to clear the roadway, muck and dirt and everything we put on it over here. Start cleaning this off like so. Get all the rocks and gunk that we put on the road off. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Man, I feel like I'm in a rocket with this thing. Don't forget, like the video helps me out a ton. Thanks, y'all. You're the best.